Giuseppe Porcaro, you're from the European Youth Forum. We're here in Brussels at a Fondation Euractiv stakeholder workshop where you've been discussing the relationship between uh, regional policy and youth policy. Would you explain a little about what's just been debated, what, what was going on? Yes, well, it was a quite interesting debate because uh, it, um, it is uh, uh, quite a challenge nowadays to uh, discuss about uh, European policies and trying to apply them on the, on the ground and vice versa what's going on on the ground, how this is interacting with the European level and as we know a lot of what's happening at the European level impacts on the ground. So uh, this is the same for youth policies and uh, we are now at a time where the Commission has been uh, devoting quite uh, an attention to youth policies uh, in the frame of the new EU 2020 strategy. So they really put for the first time youth in the highest position in the agenda of the Union and uh, actually debating on how this interest from the Union is going to go on the go at the regional level and the local level it is uh, it is quite um, it's quite a good topic of discussion at the moment and having uh, both uh, local representatives european representatives and uh, representatives of the civil society on the table uh, was quite an interesting debate it's interesting that you mentioned there the relationship between eu level member state level and regional level implementation of eu rules must be very complicated is your organization involved in that what what, what exactly do you do well we are the federation or i'd say the platform of youth organizations in europe so we are uh, basically not a governmental uh, actor but uh, a non-governmental uh, platform and our members are working on the ground from uh, rural uh, youth in, uh, in remote uh, regions of Latvia or uh, uh, migrant, uh, young people with migrant background in the suburbs of Paris or uh, in, uh, in uh, really other um, in any other uh, regions in, uh, in, in Europe, working on the ground, we are uh, providing uh, different kind of activities, uh, really engaging young people into uh, making a difference in their communities. And basically these organizations which work on the grounds are our members. So basically you have a direct link between the ground and the European level. Uh, so for us, uh, it, is, uh, it is not a matter of, uh, of uh, um, really dividing the European level from the, from the local level. We are more in a so-called uh, uh, global approach where we uh, act locally and we think in this, in, this in this case European. All our member organizations so contribute to this kind of constructions. And we would like to see something like that as well at the European level in terms of institutional uh, responses and the interaction between local authorities, national authorities and European authorities. At the end of the day, it, there is principle of subsidiarity, but actually sometimes what it is forgotten in this kind of uh, discussion, it is how, for instance, regional policies can put at the center young people as actors of development as a, a, a part of the social capital of a territory and how this social capital of the territory can be really considered as an asset for development and not just regional level but as well at the European level because if the regions in Europe are developing then it's the whole continent that is developing. When you talk about considering young people as a, a regional asset to be developed, I presume you're thinking there about things like education policy, about finding employment? Uh, absolutely, those are the first two things that comes to the mind of the people, but I also think a little bit uh, more uh, out of the box. I think about uh, projects run by young people within their communities which are impacting directly in the territory, which are impacting in the social life, which are basically constituting uh, the so-called social environment of, uh, of, the, of the territory, of the community at the local level. So volunteering projects, uh, non-formal learning, so that is something different, it's still education, but it's something that comes out of the school and uh, uh, civic participation, for example, in, local, in the local life, uh, in the decision making, so young people and youth organization being actors in the local life. I think that all those things should be considered as part of these uh, assets and not just education and employment.